Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I wanted to go ahead and talk about in this video the looks for the Real Housewives of New York reunion. I'm conflicted. Not really, just a little, kind of, I don't know. Help me out. <laughs> we are about to have some kitchen table talk, okay? And this is probably going to be uncomfortable for some of you who may not know how sometimes I deliver the message. But nonetheless, girl, it is what it is. And I feel like it needs to be said. So again, the looks for the Real Housewives of Atlanta, Real Housewives of Atlanta, see? Real Housewives of New York were released. And I have to say that even though I feel like I got what they were going for, this new, young, hip, bright, stylish, a fashionable group, the new era, Real Housewives of New York City. I did not have a favorite. Even though there were some people who I felt like if I saw them in re like walking down the street, I, I would go up for. This is a problem that, I'm, that I have with, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. This is a problem that I have with the white housewife shows and the black versus the black housewife shows. I have seen that in New Jersey, they put forth an effort, right? I have noticed that. I just got into New Jersey um, a few seasons ago where I started watching like full seasons. Before that, I would just watch episodes here and there. But I have noticed that New Jersey, they try and like have a theme. Everybody tries to put their best foot forward. But the other shows like Orange County, even this season, it's like, girl, they just go to their closet and pull a dress out and be like, what's up? I'm cute. I'm here. You know, the white women, no tea, no shade. The only thing they care about is being skinny. As long as I'm skinny, girl, I'm good to go. I feel like I'm cute. I feel like I'm foul. Girl. I don't know if it's because we put too much pressure on the black women. There's this expectation. But why is it that Atlanta and Potomac have to come out, hair beat, face, girl, together, outfit together, and girl, they have to look perfection from head to toe? Right? None of the stuff that they wear they wear to the reunions the majority of the time, it can be worn to happy hour or to the club or to church. Right? You have to be going somewhere where you have to dress up. And then here come the white ladies. Girl, giving us, girl, below mediocre. <laughs> girl, not even average. Girl, just throwing something on. And I never understood why is it that when it came to Atlanta and Potomac, it was always, not always, because we know the first season of Atlanta, honey, they gave us very much girl. <laughs> they gave us very much an old nasty Charlotte Roos, a gotcha. You know, old Forever 21. They gave us an old Macy. <laughs> they, they gave us an old Macy's Foley's tea. <laughs> okay. Some of the girls, some of y'all look too young to know what Foley's is, but you know, the first season of Atlanta, they gave us like they worked at Macy's. They gave us like they worked at Nordstrom. They gave us like they worked at, you know, Foley's. They gave us like they probably was a manager, you know, <laughs> girl down to, you know, sex office. <laughs> But what I'm saying is, as the years went by, they started to have themes. The ladies started to dress up, right? 
And it becomes this thing where now even the people who watch the show, we will do separate videos just on the fashions alone. Beverly Hills, they always look, girl, tied and through at the reunions. It's like they just throw on something and go. So here we are with New York. <sighs> I'm going to start out with somebody who is my favorite. Jenna Hampton. Jenna Hampton. <laughs> Jenna Lyons. I'm thinking of the Hamptons. <laughs> Jenna Lyons. I think Jenna Lyons looks absolutely fantastic. But I love the fact that she's going for a fashionable look, jeans at the reunion. This is the 14th season. I live for it. But girl, did you really throw some jeans on for the reunion? Girl, all I could think about was if one of the black ladies from Potomac or Atlanta popped up at the reunion with some jeans on, honey, they would be torn to shreds. I love Jenna. Y'all know I do. I follow Jenna on Instagram. I think Jenna is a great person from what I can see off of the TV show. She does things that I don't see other housewives do, or at least I don't remember, you know, making, you know, making sure that she helps with, you know, bringing uh, businesses that are black and brown to an area. Um, when she was on her casting call, she thinks, it's, she thinks that it's important for people to see themselves, right? Let me put somebody black or Afro-Latina behind this table so when somebody walks in, it's just not a table full of old white women, Right. So she does things that lets me know that, girl, she's a decent person. I don't think Jenna is a great housewife. If Jenna didn't come back next season, I wouldn't even care. I don't think the, the dynamic of the group would shift if she didn't return. Um, from what they say, I don't know how true this is. Allegedly, she's not coming to BravoCon because of her anxiety. I get it. Girl, listen. Girl, you can't, you can't, girl, you're not really performing on the Housewives show. You can't come to BravoCon, and now you walking your ass up to the reunion with some blue jeans on. <laughs> Get out off my TV screen. I'm sorry. I think Jenna looked fly and dope as hell in this picture, and I get what she's probably going for. But girl, all I, again, all I could think about was, girl, if the black girls walked up on this stage with some jeans on the way that, girl, y'all would set that X Twitter, whatever it's called, on fire. I love the look, but it's not a reunion look. But again, the white women are used to kind of just, oh, I'm just going to go and just be cute. They don't have to put a lot of thought into it. Erin. Erin looks cute. Erin looks like she's going to the club. Erin like she's going. This is something I would see Carrie Bradshaw wearing, girl, going out to dinner with uh, Samantha. Well, not Samantha. You know, some method of food. Um, <laughs> um, this is something I can see her wearing out to dinner with the girls. Cute. She don't look bad. She look nice. Brynn. Brynn look a mess. Can Brynn, where are you going? <laughs> Brynn look like a pilgrim. Brynn look like she got a pilgrim's outfit and then remixed it. It looked like this was a challenge for Project Runway. Take this pilgrim's outfit and then God wants you to make it into something sexy. Girl, yeah, but not too much. Sai, I thought, looked the best. But even with Sai, Sai could wear this to the club on New Year's Eve. Everything that everybody had on to me, except probably for Brynn, because she could probably wear that. Girl, I feel like everything that everybody had on, they could wear out somewhere probably not probably not uber but yeah Sa looks nice Sa looks Sa probably was the best one to me Sa and jenna but not for the reunion but for the reunion Sa was probably the best dress to me 
Shout out, she lost some weight too. Uber, I don't care for nothing Uber had on. At all. I mean, it don't look bad. And Jessa looks very, very. Jessa is gorgeous. I swear I've seen Jessa with this dress on before. Everybody is just, uh. Everybody's just, uh. Girl, I think I'm sick of it. I am. Like I said, I can appreciate them just looking cute. But, girl, for the reunion, I feel like when it comes to the reunion, girl, y'all supposed to bring out y'all. Girl, this is when you're supposed to be like, okay, girl, let me bring out my heavy hitter, girl. Let me bring out this old nasty pants suit. Let me bring out this nasty jumpsuit. Let me bring out this nasty dress. Girl, let me show the girls. This is how, this is how, girl, I want to see elegance, honey. I want to see fabulosity. Yes. I want to see the girl. I want to see girls. Show us. Give us to us one good time. Go out with a bang. Girl, quiet as it's kept, girl. Jenna, girl, as fly as she is, girl, she could button that up and go to work. Je Je Jenna, Jenna really could just button that up with a, sa with a safety pin and go to church. Jenna could wear it. It's not one place Jenna couldn't wear this outfit to. She could wear it to church as long as she button it up. <laughs> you know, Jenna like to have her titties out. As long as she button it up, they want to know what was going on underneath. A PTA meeting. The grocery store. Girl, <laughs> casual Friday at work. <laughs> girl, girl, to work on Monday. <laughs> okay, on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. <sighs> I just feel like at this point, girl, we can't even go. I, like we, we at this point, they might, I, they might as well just let the Real Housewives of Atlanta and Potomac just kind of just do their own thing. Y'all, y'all letting these white women come down here and be very mediocre. Don't have to put no thought into the, what they put on. They just pull a dress out of their closet and go. <sighs> Anyways, that's all I had to say. I'm gone. I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good day. Bye, y'all. Girl, this white man, the girl. This heifer really got her ass down to the ring with some jeans on. That is my girl. She looks good. Now, my Miss Thing looks good. This thing looks, looks, she's everything to me. But girl, she really got her ass down to the real you with some jeans on. Girl, that's something I would wear, <laughs> girl, just on a regular day. You know I love me an old nasty blazer and, a and, a, and, a, and some denim. <laughs> I do. Erin, she looks pretty. But girl, Erin. <sighs> girl. I ain't get a flask. I'm sick of all y'all. Girl. Uh, Jenna probably not coming back next season. <laughs> and that's fine. I just keep following her on Instagram. I heard she was engaged to some white lady. I don't know, honey. Girl, anyways, I'm gone. I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs> Bye, y'all.